guys so it's me again with another video of a wig that I bought um this is flirt alert and golden russet I don't know what numbers they are but um I I really wanted this wig and shaded biscuit but they didn't have it available so I got a different one shaded biscuit but this one so th I'm in front of my uh, patio seems to be like the best lighting um uh, so I, I do love the curl pattern and the fact that it's a heat synthetic means it's not shiny. There's some flyaways, so I used like fabric softener mixed with water and sprayed it on it and they seem to have gone away. Um, so the, one of the first wigs I bought was a Raquel Welch, I think it was like Miles of Style and I de destroyed it. Like I had to wear, um, like a, a headband. It was really cute. I, I wholly, totally rocked the hippie boho look. Um, but I had to wear a headband or like a cute wrappy thing all the time because I just destroyed the lace front because I wasn't used to it because it, you know, getting used to wigs is a, there is a, it's a process mentally and psychologically. So it seems like most of us destroy our first wigs because we don't know what we're doing. We're not used to it. We're used to having, you know, thin, we're so used to seeing thin hair on us that we don't know what thick hair looks like. So we're like, oh, it looks awful. And we just keep messing with it. And then we screw it up. And I put all sorts of weird stuff on it to try and make the scalp look realistic. And, and deep down, probably nobody would have even noticed. So I haven't bought, I just bought a human hair Raquel Welch, which was different than anything I've seen. Um, so I haven't bought one in a while. And I didn't think I'd ever buy a Raquel Welch, but she has a lot of pretty colors that I, I want to try. And this was one of them, Golden Russet. Now I was looking for like a summer blonde, a, a summer like strawberry blonde. And I felt like this one would be the warmest because I'm um, warm tones. Now, I, I do like this. And the lace front, you can see my widow's peak, but um, their lace fronts look pretty legit. Like, you can't even see, you know. Oh, my little iPhone's not going to focus in. But you you can't even see the lace. Like, I don't even know if I'd have to cut this because you it just blends in with my skin. So, kudos to Raquel Welch for... A good lace front um now this this thing right here i've already plucked it and i put um powder underneath and with john renault's that does a trick and it looks like a scalp um hers so this scalp there's a flirt alert is a wefting in the back and then just one part right here um so it the parting was so close together it looks super wiggy like those those halloween wigs that you buy so i'm not impressed with that for the quality of this wig. So I, I, I plucked it and you still can't even tell. And it was the weirdest, this was the weirdest hair to pluck out. It was like stretchy and I don't know if it's cause it's heat defiant, but it's really weird. Um, and I, this is like too, like I need golden tones, but dang, this is like, it was like yellow. So I wasn't expecting that on the Raquel Welch. So I think, you know, and I figured with this part, I might play with it a little more or buy some of that, um, scar away stuff that works um at the end of the day people aren't looking that close and I tell people I wear wigs anyways and so I'm gonna rock this either way um I guess I'm not used to having short curly hair on me so it might be a little bit of a shock factor so let me know if it looks wiggy or like clown red um maybe some brown dry shampoo will help dull it down a little bit up here I might take some um like I think I have like fabric marker to add in some rooting because it's just so weird not to see rooting on me. But yeah, and this is the back. So I really like this. These curls are so cute. I can see why it's flirt alert because it's like, oh, they're flirty curls and and so, you know, like laid back and, um, you know, like adorable. So uh, I probably won't like wash this too much. I won't change the curls because I'm not going to know how to get them back. So they'll just stay that way. Um, you can definitely tuck it behind the ears. Um, but yeah, so here is Flirt Alert in Golden Russet. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like it. The The lace, the um, parting is kind of goofy, so I'll have to work on that, if I, maybe. This is the only part that really bothered me. I feel like it's too yellow, but I got it to wear to work um maybe on like really hot days here in Arizona but I'm still gonna rock this wig and uh yeah 
So anyways, for those who wanted to see Flirt Alert in Gold and Russet on someone who isn't naturally a redhead. So keep that in mind. I'm not naturally a redhead. There's some people who are naturally redheads, so they automatically look good with red hair. So this is like a strawberry blonde, um, different light levels of red in it. But, you know, very dynamic. Obviously, it looks like you went to the salon. It's kind of the look I'm going for. Um, I might add some rooting. If I do that, I'll post like a picture, maybe do a video. Because videos are pretty easy. So, um, there you go. I hope this helps anybody who uh, was considering buying this. Um, like, it's got like a little, it's not really a bang, just all one length. But, yeah. So, here it is. Bye. Have a good day.